I was super nervous, you guys. I was, oh my gosh, I was so scared because I was like, I don't wanna look like an idiot. What's up you guys, it's Adana. Welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new. Thank you guys so much for choosing to sit down and watch this video. Um, this is my first week, you guys, of clinical rotations and wow, it has been amazing. So I just wanna tell you guys really, really quickly that I'm gonna be starting this thing where I'm talking about my clinical rotations. Each week of clinical rotation, I will be giving you guys an update of how that week went. Um, and I'll, I'll also probably give like an overall update of how that particular rotation went. So be on the lookout for that in the playlist. I will have a playlist for it. Maybe it's gonna be called clinical rotations. I don't know, but be on the lookout for it because I will be putting that up very very shortly and then you guys can also kind of join me and follow me along on this rotation journey but that is exactly what we're gonna be talking about today today we are gonna be talking about my week in clinical rotation um, in my ER rotation I had emergency medicine as my first rotation obviously I'm still in it I've only done one week our rotations are four weeks long um, and it gives us the opportunity to do a lot more electives so I have four electives that I can choose from and I can choose, you know, whatever I want to do in those places. Well, other schools may have two or some schools may get to choose one elective, but we get to choose four because our rotations are a little bit shorter. So that's kind of like a double-edged sword because as you're now getting into the swing of things, then you're going to get pulled out and put into another rotation, but you can always choose to redo a rotation that you really like. So that's a really good and nice perk of having 14 months of clinical year and four rotations. I was super nervous, you guys. I was, oh my gosh, I was so scared because I was like, I don't wanna look like an idiot. I'm gonna be going into this rotation. I feel like I'm gonna be, like, I don't know anything. They're gonna be looking at me like, how did you get out of didactic year? And I was really nervous. Although I felt like, you know, our school did a really good job of kind of like getting us used to talking to patients by going to the free clinic and things of that nature, I was still super nervous. I was going to a totally different hospital that I've never been to before with people that I don't know and I'm gonna be, you know, this PA student coming in asking nurses to do something or asking a tech to get something for me and they're gonna be like, well, who the F are you, right? Like, <laughs> like honestly, like, who are you? So I was nervous my first day, and that first day was a long day. I started my day around, um, well, I started the day around 5.30, but my actual, like, rotation time didn't start until 8.30, where I had to get all of my onboarding information done. And then I went till 9 p.m. that night, so it was really long but they literally threw me in that first day I was seeing patients, you guys. Like, out of this world, could not believe that I was already seeing patients. Like, they were like, go see the patient in, you know, room five. I'm like, what? Already? Like, I just got here. But it was cool because I got to experience it. You know, obviously, I feel like it was on a little bit of a lighter level, but it really did help going to a school that allowed me to see patients during my didactic year because being able to kind of talk to patients and build that rapport was honestly like the best thing that I could have learned in didactic year. So I saw a lot of diff different things. Like you guys know I love Dr. Pimple Popper and I saw some abscess drainage. Um, I got to kind of like set up the tray for that. Although I didn't get to do an abscess drainage myself, not yet. I mean, come on guys, this is day four. <laughs> um, and see how they decide to do their closures um, or you know, like their post abscess drainage management, IND kind of work, you know, how they decide, because we're taught you use packing, but I learned a new way where you don't do packing. You kind of do like a medi loop thing where it allows for drainage of the abscess and any um, extra like fluid that you didn't get out, but at the same time, it doesn't keep the 
access whole packed with packing and you know make it more painful for the patient so one thing i really learned was how you're taught in clinical like the clinical year and and what's practical for like medicine and practicing is completely different than what you're taught with respect to school because you know you have the book way of doing things and then you have like what's done in clinical practice. So that was a bit of a shock for me, just kind of trying to get my two brains, I guess, in the right kind of order and understanding what exactly I needed to do. But um, other than that, you know, it was pretty cool. I got to see quite a few different things. A lot of what I did in ACP, like I saw someone that had a puncture wound in their hand by a nail gun. I saw a lot, a lot of like, I, I actually did pelvic exams, um, real life pelvic exams on real life patients. I got to even like, I saw a fracture, a lot of ortho cases. I saw a lot of just kind of like MVC type post MVC or well that is motor vehicle accidents or um so i saw a lot of those coming in like neck pain abdominal pain and you have to do like the full workup for that because you don't know if there's any like neuro things going on so those those kind of take a little bit of time but i got to see a lot of that and um just kind of your general like malaise like tiredness and being sick so it was really cool and it's only been day four you know like i've only been at this hospital for four days and I got to see so much and I got to participate in so much. So I'm really, really excited that I decided to come to this hospital and do my rotation. And I'm so excited to share all of my experiences with you guys. I cannot imagine what day five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 is going to hold in store for me, but you guys will hear about it. Obviously not in like super detail because I had to protect patient information, but I will do my best to kind of just bring you along on what I've experienced. Um, the one thing that I really wanna like leave with you guys, which is something pivotal that I learned, was the art of talking to patients. So um, understanding how to kind of like just diffuse the situation um, from the beginning as you walk in is the best thing that you can learn to do. Uh, I worked with one of the physicians at the hospital um, recently this week and he was amazing at that. Like he goes in and he just kind of sits down and, and, and you feel like you guys are friends, you know. As the patient, he comes in and he's like, hey, you know, I'm sorry that you've, you've had to wait this long and I really appreciate your patience. And from there, like, how can you even be mad? You know, like you're coming into an apology. Someone is saying they're acknowledging the fact that hey yeah you know my bad you guys like i'm sorry um it's been a really really rough uh, time in the er but you guys are are i'm really grateful that you've just been really patient and that's that is amazing being able to diffuse that situation from the jump and that's just kind of getting into what the patient is there for that is the best skill that you can develop. So as you continue to go through didactic gear, and those of you who may not even be in the di in didactic gear yet, or those of you that are in clinicals currently, just kind of hone that skill. That's something that I'm going to actively pursue and work on being able to kind of just talk to the patients and be like hey you know thank you so much for your patience i really appreciate it um it's you know it's been kind of a, a crazy night here in the ed but i really want to know what's going on with you today so can you please tell me what's 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 bringing you in today and just kind of being able to go through that process but so excited you guys really really excited cannot wait to tell you guys about everything else that is going on uh again be on the lookout for that playlist it's going to be um maybe something called clinical year um or year two something along those lines i'll be updating you guys weekly on what i'm doing in my clinical rotation so stay tuned come back next week you'll hear how week two went um and hopefully i'll have some really exciting stories for you guys i am so grateful for you guys each and every one of you thank you guys so much for watching um if you have not already done so go ahead right now and subscribe and follow me on instagram at adana the pa thank you guys i will talk to you guys next week week two coming at you bye